What's up folks, this is your tech savant here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Tab S7 Plus and why this is the best of the best right now. Let me first begin with this display and boy oh boy, this display is GORGEOUS! 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 I think that those folks who create content creators, designers, you're going to enjoy working on a display like this. Just some specs here. This is a 12.4 inch, 1752 by 2800 pixels, Super AMOLED 120 hz HDR10 Plus display. This display is so good that when viewing Instagram, Facebook and even Twitter pictures and videos, you actually begin to see how bad compression is on these social media platforms. Like yeah, they really compress the hell out of your high quality videos and pics but regardless the viewing experience is as you will expect from watching movies playing games or even editing photos it's super immersive and captivating of course the multimedia experience won't be complete without great speakers and the four that's included yes i said four tuned by AKG does not disappoint. Wanna take some time to thank Malik Tech for loaning us this device for review? Check his Facebook page out for top quality devices. Link is in the description. Having this good of a display will be futile without some good performance and battery life to back it up. Samsung's One UI 3.1 on top of Android 11 continues to show us that it is one of the best software experiences on an Android device. The days of lag a long gone, given the constant tweaking by Samsung to make this experience as smooth as possible. In aid of this performance comes the Snapdragon A65 Plus processor, which by no means is a slouch in this area. This model carries 6 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of onboard storage. Speaking of storage, it can be expanded via its memory card slot. Doesn't matter which configuration of this tab you choose to get. Everything thrown at this tab is handled beautifully, even keeping apps in memory. Gaming on this device is an experience. Now given its large size, I'll prefer that you use a controller with this tab. Here I'm using my Xbox controller, which connects easily. As an avid gamer myself, there's no complaints here. Battery life is great, and having the adaptive refresh rate really helps with battery life. But I think that given there's a 10,090 milliamp battery in here, having 120Hz running constantly shouldn't be a problem. If you do need faster charging, there's a 45 watt charger that's sold separately. Can't talk about this tab without mentioning Samsung DeX. And for those of you who don't know what Samsung DeX is, well, it's basically a feature which turns the tab's interface to more of a desktop experience. And I must say, this is what Android on a tab should be like. Let me just rant here a bit. Remember Android Honeycomb? It was Android's answer to their operating system for larger displays, namely tablets. And well, that's not in existence anymore. I truly believe if there was more serious thought and development into this project going forward, Apple would not be leading the charge right now in the tablet market. Basically, the app experience on an Android tab is the same on an Android phone. It's basically blown up versions of what we get on an Android phone and this should never be the case. Between iPhones and iPads, the app experience on both can clearly be seen because Apple actually took time to develop their tab ecosystem. Thankfully, Samsung has somewhat taken up its slack and is trying to offer a unique tablet experience where you won't necessarily need a full-fledged laptop to do certain tasks. Samsung DeX makes it easy to share your display to something larger like a monitor or even a TV. Then via Bluetooth, connect a mouse and keyboard or even Samsung's keyboard cover that has a built-in trackpad. So basically, what you're getting is a super portable laptop on the go. I'll advise anyone going for their setup to get the Anchor Hub, which is going to connect everything you need for the full desktop experience. Samsung DeX is only going to get better and i'm all here for it let's not forget the trusty s pen and this s pen is nice writing with this feels so natural i can only imagine what artists can do on here given that samsung has reduced both the s pen and display latency to 9 milliseconds which means you're gonna get much faster response times than before all of those familiar air gestures are here to stay and the s pen easily attaches to the back of the tab via this magnetic strip i must say i have had issues with a magnetic strip on last year's tab s6 where the s pen will fall off too easily however on the tab s7 plus this strip is strong no more falling off and of course the s pen charges while connected to the tab this is a big tab and it may be too big for some folks 
So there's a smaller 11 inch tab S7 available. I must say it's well built, aluminum back and frame with glass up front. Let's not forget there's an in display fingerprint sensor that works okay. It's not the fastest or the best but it works alongside Samsung's face unlock. As for the cameras, not much to really see here but I won't expect anyone to be walking around with a tab taking pics because if you do, you're gonna be disappointed with both front and back pics. While the camera system is not terrible, it's not that good either. And I think Samsung should have at least given us a better front facing camera seeing that most people are going to be using this tablet for zoom calls, conference calls at home. Um, it's not that bad as you guys can see but it could be better. Overall, this tab is the real deal. Sure, it's not perfect, but if you are someone looking to be super portable, this is the way to go. I can say why this tab is great, there are just some things that a laptop is needed for. For example, if you need to install EXE applications that won't be possible on this tab. Hopefully, Samsung's DeX can reach this level of functionality in the near future. This is the Samsung Tab S7 Plus, lacking nothing and prepared for everything. If you guys enjoyed this content, liking and sharing it will be awesome. And subscribe if you haven't. See you guys in the next one. Bless.